So now we're going to talk about Haemophilus influenza. And this actually doesn't cause the flu. Um, this causes four separate things, um, but it's not the flu. The thing that causes the flu is the influenza virus. However, getting the influenza virus does predispose you to get a, a Haemophilus infection, most notably pneumonia. Now, what does Haemophilus influenza cause? You have EMOP right here, and that's basically what it causes. Um, you have epiglottitis. You have meningitis. You have otitis media and you have pneumonia. Okay. Um, a couple of interesting things about this is that you need to grow it on a chocolate agar plate uh, with the factors 5 and 10. However, you could grow it on a chocolate agar plate with factor 10 along with stra Staph aureus, which cleaves the blood cells. Uh, it's a beta hemolytic organism. Um, to create to give you factor 5. So Staph aureus cleaves the blood cells to give you factor 5 um, and you already have factor 10 on the chocolate agar. Um, you treat uh, Haemophilus inf infection, um, one of these things, uh, epiglottitis, cherry red epiglottitis, uh, meningitis, someone who didn't get an immunization, uh, otitis media, uh, loss of hearing, and pneumonia, uh, lung infiltrates. Um, you treat it with ceftriaxone, which is a third generation cephalosporin, uh, which is more active against uh, gram-negative rods, which is what Haemophilus is. It's a gram-negative cacobacilli. Um, the earlier generations of cephalosporins are better against gram-positive. Um, but a way to remember some things about this thing is that you can say uh, mom goes to the 5-and-dime, the 5 and dime, five and 10, to buy chocolate, which is what you need to grow it on. Chocolate. Um, also, you have um, a vaccine against this, but it contains hem Haemophilus influenza B, um, which is actually the most invasive. Um, it doesn't protect against all Haemophilus, um, but most of it does protect against... Uh, it, uh, the, the thing does protect against the stuff. So. so here are the takeaway points. If you could remember anything, just remember this about Haemophilus. Um, 5, 10, chocolate, EMOP, epiglottitis, meningitis, otitis media, and pneumonia. Uh, treat it with ceftriaxone. And another thing is that you treat prophylactically uh, closed contacts with rifampin, which is also a tuberculosis uh, medication. Uh, but Haemophilus is very contagious. Um, and just think about it the same way you think about tuberculosis. Um, you treat tuberculosis uh, with rifampin, and Haemophilus is kind of the same thing. You treat close contacts of tuberculosis with rifampin, and you also do it with Haemophilus. Um, and it's all the most common type is type B, which is also um, the most invasive type.